In this video, I want to talk about how you go about getting traffic to your squeeze page. Because getting traffic to your squeeze page is probably the most important part of the whole process. If you look at our diagram here again, it's this part here at the very beginning. This is the business end because it doesn't matter how attractive your squeeze page is, it doesn't matter how compelling your offer it is, it doesn't matter how good value your free gift is, if nobody knows about it then no one's going to go to your squeeze page, no one's going to sign up. So getting traffic to your squeeze page is crucial to your success as an email marketer. It's best to have more than one source of traffic and you also need a good way of tracking where the traffic is coming from so that you can see how effective it is. And Google Analytics is a very good way of doing it. If you do a search in Google it'll give you the page for Google Analytics so you can go there and sign up, it's all free and then you get a code which you can then insert into your squeeze page and it can track how many visitors you're getting and it'll give you an idea as to where they're coming from. Now let's talk about free traffic versus paid traffic because these are the two main types of traffic that you can get to your squeeze page. And there are pros and cons to both types of traffic. Now if you look at free traffic the pros are well it's free obviously you know it doesn't cost any money to get this traffic to your website and it's unlimited you don't have a cap on how many clicks they're going to be on a link you don't have any limitations on the number of people who are going to see your ad it's all completely free and it's all completely unlimited and of course the fact that you're not having to shell out for advertising does boost your bottom line now on the downside of course it does take time it's you know, it's not completely free, it doesn't cost you any money, but it does take time to build up this free traffic and to spread the word about your site, about your squeeze page. And it's not reliable. I mean, when you're paying for something, you know that it should be working properly or you can always make a complaint. But if something's free, then it's not always reliable. And of course, you can be subjected to uh, things like changes in search engine algorithms and that sort of thing. And it's hard to measure its effectiveness and make changes. With a paid advertisement, for example, you can tweak the copy slightly and see which works best. But if it's free, if it's you know viral traffic or if it's from a search engine, it's very hard to make those changes. Now let's talk about paid traffic. And once again, there are pros and cons of all this. Now, the pros are that, first of all, you can start sending traffic right away. And it's easy to measure its effectiveness because you can work out when the advertisement starts to run and you can track how many people come through to your site, especially if you're using Google Analytics. And it's easy to make changes or fine-tune it. So you can make changes to advertising copy, you can make changes to paid emails that you send out or you get people to send out for you. And you can therefore measure their effectiveness. Well, the cons, well obviously there's a cost involved. So you do need to have some sort of financial resources behind you to meet that cost. And some pay-per-click operators won't send traffic to squeeze pages. And this is particularly true of Google AdWords. Google AdWords used to be a great way to send traffic to squeeze pages. Uh, you could put up an ad and you could get traffic through to your squeeze page right away. Now they've changed their terms of service and if you try and send traffic to a squeeze page from a Google AdWords ad, they will shut your account down. They do not allow that at all now. So you have to be careful there. Okay, let's look at some sources of free traffic. 
probably the best one is search engines and you use search engine optimization to achieve a high ranking on your search engines so if you can get to page one of Google for your search term for your keyword uh, you're going to get a lot of traffic directly to your squeeze page and it's all completely free then there's YouTube and YouTube is now becoming the second most popular search engine right after Google which happens to own YouTube and what a lot of people do is they'll put up a video on YouTube with either a clickable link or a link underneath and this will be part one of a two-part video so you put this up on YouTube and you get it ranked quite highly for your keyword people watch the video and then in order to see part two of the video they've got to click the link which takes them through to your squeeze page where they watch the second part of the video and then sign up for your list underneath and it is actually a very effective way of getting traffic to your squeeze page then there's social media and when I talk about social media I mean things like Facebook Twitter Pinterest and so on then there are free ad sites uh, these are things like Craigslist Gumtree and so on now these aren't as effective as they used to be particularly Craigslist because they have actually now clamped down on uh, quite a lot of things and they have made it difficult to post an ad if you are outside the target market then there are list swaps and these are the sort of things that you can do once you've got a reasonable number of people on your list what you can do is you can contact another list owner and you can get him or her to send an email to their list advertising your free giveaway and you reciprocate and you do the same and you send an email to your list advertising their free giveaway and this means that you, know, you can build your list from their subscribers and they can build their list from your subscribers so it's a win-win situation for you both and then there's viral marketing and viral marketing takes a bit of time but it can be very effective and this is where you have a free giveaway generally a free ebook or a free report and at the back of it or underneath every page you have a link to your squeeze page and an invitation for people to visit your squeeze page and to sign up for more information and you then encourage people to give this report away either to their list or as a free bonus or in some other way to encourage it to be spread and it can take a long time to build up a momentum but once it starts being spread around then you uh, can get quite a lot of traffic that way and again it's all free and then of course there are referrals recommendations and word of mouth you know word of mouth is the best advertising offline and it's the same online as well okay let's talk about some sources of paid traffic probably the best as far as email marketing goes are solo ads now solo ads are a bit like list swaps except it's only one way so you will pay another list owner to send an email to their list advertising your offer so it's not reciprocal uh, you will actually pay and the amount you pay is going to depend on the list owner and the size of their list then you've got forum advertising now a lot of forums in various niches require you to be a subscriber now to have a, a, a clickable link in the signature box under forum postings which is why I've put it here under paid traffic forum advertising forum SIGs are a good way of getting traffic to freebies they're not very good for selling stuff but they are very good for getting traffic to free giveaways then there's paid website advertising you know how it is when you go to a niche website you sometimes find a banner ad or a classified ad or something actually on the website 
and that's the sort of thing that, that I'm talking about here where you can actually advertise your free giveaway on a website that you know is frequented by people who are in your niche and would therefore be interested in receiving it. Then there's pay-per-click or PPC and uh, say there, there are different types of pay-per-click not just Google AdWords and some of them do still allow uh, traffic to squeeze pages but you do need to check first and you do need to be very careful. Then there's offline advertising and lots of people overlook offline advertising when they're trying to build a list and uh, it's silly really because offline advertising does work because there's not a lot of competition with other people who are marketing online and a good source of uh, traffic offline is classified ads. Classified ads in newspapers and magazines that are read by your target audience. And in particular, you know, you can have a QR code printed in a classified ad or in a small ad in a newspaper or magazine. And because so many people surf the internet on smartphones now, once they go over that QR code, they can go straight to your squeeze page from their cell phone and sign up right away and so this is something that's rather underutilized at the moment. Then you've got printed mail shots. Now these work in certain niches in particular they work in the investing niche and they work in the work from home jobs type niche and uh, speaking personally I do get every so often um, a printed mail shot from somebody offering something in those two niches and then I have to go to their website to sign up for this particular free offer. So it does work. Then there's TV and radio and that is very very expensive but of course you do reach a vast audience. So there you go, there are some sources of traffic to get people to your squeeze page.